Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now if you're new, we do movie and series reviews, monthly wrap up tier list, and um, I am gonna start incorporating a little bit of board game content as well. Just a little bit. We're not gonna be changing niches or anything that you're just gonna be like random videos kind of like with my random rankings and stuff so not like a huge change just you know that's kind of what's happening uh, but april has come to an end and it is time to rank everything that i watch within the month of course as a reminder i did take the month of march no month of april off sorry not march the month of april off um so i did only review one movie which was sonic the hedgehog actually um i just uploaded my review for 365 days because that just came out so so I went ahead and reviewed it as well. You can find both of those reviews um, down below if you like a little bit more of my take. Well, actually, the Sonic one is a very quick, like, three-minute after the theater, like, thoughts. Just because, again, we were on break. So I didn't get too much into it. Thankfully, you know, like, April, like, it was, it was long, you guys. Like, I had a great, great break. It was so relaxing to just watch whatever I want. I have to worry about reviews and, like, I watch a lot of Friends and Big Bang Theory. First up is going to be Morbius. Oh, Morbius, Morbius, Morbius. This movie has been delayed, 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 delayed. And you would think, you would think that as much as it had been delayed, they would have fixed a lot of things. Quite honestly, I really don't remember the movie. I saw it at the very beginning of the, well, technically I saw it at the very end of March, but it had like April 1st release, I think it was. You know what, this movie, it tried. It. I'm gonna just say that <laughs> it's not good Jerry Little is um in it and he plays Morbius the detectives in here like why are the detectives in here the detectives were so 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 useless we're gonna move on to uh Netflix of the bubble and Judd Apatow Apatow yeah I know yeah I know yeah I know how I am with words um he's the director of this and honestly when I saw the trailer I had high hopes for this I really did. I was like, oh, this looks like my cup of tea. I'm going to truly enjoy it. We're finally going to get a good comedy movie that, like, movie like this that I enjoy. Some of you are probably like, Stephanie, Stephanie, really? Really? This? You had high expectations for this Netflix movie? Yes! Yes, you are. I did. Don't come at me. These are the type of, like, comedy movies that I enjoy. Okay, like, these kind of, like, dumb, like, don't take themselves too seriously. You know, like, scary movie stuff like that like I love like those kind of parody a haunted house uh, obviously those are like the wins I do though because they do them great well I mean they don't do great this was just a bad movie it, it was so good bad not not so good it was so bad um I did laugh a little bit in there just like a little bit um Pedro Pascal definitely was the outstanding performance here I really really loved him so this movie basically is a bunch of actors who are trying to make like movie number six or whatever of this dinosaur movie, I don't know, I don't know what kind of movie they was, I forgot. It's during COVID time, so the bubble, like, we're secured, like, you're gonna be quarantined, and, like, they're going crazy, and then people get sick, and they're trying to quarantine back up, and they're like, hell no, you're gonna quarantine me, and it kind of, I, it, it, it really seemed, like, the concept of it seemed like it was gonna be so good, like, oh, a comedy movie about the times that we're living now, and just us to feel bad I guess for the actors because it's, it's obviously playing towards them and how their por protocols and everything and basically they're being kidnapped I don't know you guys it really really seemed like a movie that could have been great it could have been one of those really good funny movies and unfortunately it was not this is not the last time we're gonna hear about Pedro because he has another one in here that also did really good uh so up next is going to be uh fantastic beasts and the secrets of dumbledore uh now i love 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 harry potter okay slytherin house where my slytherins at love D not dumbledore <laughs> well i love dumbledore yes but like i love harry potter unfortunately the fantastic beast movies are just not really for me uh i mean ugh, they're really not like destry my sister she loves these movies i mm. And I know they have my husband, Justice for Johnny, okay? Because I love, you know, so sad that they, mm, we're not gonna get into that. We're not gonna get into that, just no. Mm, that bitch. Who's following me, by the way? Hashtag Justice for Johnny. Do people still do that? That's how, know, how you know how old I am. Yeah, this movie was, um, it was just okay. It was just okay. I think all the fantastic movies for me were just okay. I would prefer to watch all of the Harry Potter movies before I would watch Fantastic Beasts. And I would rewatch. 
Harry Potter movies, like all of them, like five times before I would want to watch Fantastic Beast movies. But we're gonna move on to another theatrical release, Sonic 2. I do have a review. Well, this is like that quick review that I have down below. Um, this one was actually, I'm gonna go ahead and put it, it was, uh, it was pretty great. It really was. I was gonna put it in an awesome, but I might be an awesome, no. I don't know. I think I may have to rewatch it to really put it up there, but it is a lot of fun. It is a movie that I think surpasses the first part. Jim Carrey, I love him here. I love the uh, the add-ons of uh, Knuckles and Tells, um, Israel Elba. Oh, hotness. Um, he's the voice of, of Knuckles and he does a great job with it. We're gonna move on to this other mess of a movie, 365 Days This Day, which is one that I just reviewed. And we're not really gonna talk about it because I literally just did a uh, review for it. Just know that it's a bad movie. It's bad. Oh, you know what? No, it's not just bad. It's, um, uh, let me see here. Out of row below. This movie was trash trash guys and we move it over trash is what this movie is okay we're gonna move on to the northman and this is why i have my lighthouse poster over here because um robert eggers is the same director who did it and i know a lot of people don't like the lighthouse i like it don't come at me i enjoy it. that's why i have a poster about it okay it's weird it's my type of movie no idea what the hell this movie was about when i went in to see it i just kept hearing a lot of people talking about the northmen and that this was a very anticipated movie for them and i'm just like i don't know what the hell this movie is about literally all i knew was the poster which is this poster it has alexander skoshkoshkin um i don't know how to say his name Heart. And then we have uh, Nicole Kidman, um, kind of get them reunited. Where are my Big Little Lies fans out there? Uh, and then we have Anna Taylor Joy, which I adore. Uh, we also have William Defoe in it. He kind of cray cray. And uh, I feel like I'm missing somebody. Oh, oh, I know who I'm missing. The dad. Um, damn it, I forgot his name. I have it there in my mind. He comes out. Before Sunrise, Before Sunset Trilogy, Moon Knight. What the hell is his name? Freaking Ethan Hawke, I'm gonna punch you in the face, Ethan Hawke. So this is a story about revenge and uh, betrayal. And we have Vikings here. It's kind of weird also, like, like I mean, like the lighthouse, right, weird. And it's it's really, really good. Um, It's a very, very surprising. It is a really, um, it's a really great movie. Um, it's not gonna be for everybody, absolutely not. And I feel like maybe you should go into it not really knowing much, which I know was very vague, so I guess that's a good thing, but I would recommend maybe not, um, watching a trailer. I don't know what the trailer holds, but maybe don't watch it. Like, just go in, in there blind. Like, I went in there blind. I don't know, it might be actually awesome. I feel bad putting it next to Sonic. Like, I'm actually putting it on the- No, I'm not gonna put it in the love for Sonic. Okay, let me put it. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome, because I feel- like, we need, like, with Sonic? No. No, I, I can't do that. I will say Scotch Crush Kid. Oh, you guys. Where my True Blood fans at? Where my True Blood fans at? Okay. Woo. We see a very ripped Scotch Crush Kid. Woo. The abs. Woo. Yes, baby. I give it, like, an extra half a star for the abs. <laughs> Uh, another theatrical release, uh, The Bad Guys. This is an animated movie. This was the one that I actually was looking forward to. It's one that I have seen trailers and I'm like, when the first time I saw it, I was like, oh my god, I, when I saw the, the shark acting like he was giving birth, all the security guards, I just lost it. I'm like, I gotta watch that movie. I gotta watch that movie. Surprisingly, I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought, uh, but I will say it's still a great movie. I know you're probably like, oh, you're gonna, you're gonna put it in the four kids. So I had the four kids on there, but no. I think it's like really fun for the whole entire family. We're talking about heist. We're talking about bad guys who want to maybe go legit for like legit v reasons or maybe they have like an alternative like side plot going on there friendship love interest surprise like secret identity happening here last one on the list is uh the unbearable weight of unmassive talent this uh oh i am i'm moving too much and i am kind of out of focus oh wait hold on, here we go here we go wait my back into focus so this is a movie that stars uh nicholas cage and also pedro pascal I remember i told y'all he was gonna come back around uh, so nicholas cage plays nicholas cage i mean who else is gonna play himself right 
but Nick Cage with his crazy ass self. Oh my god, this movie is so hilarious. I had heard like really good things about it. The rumors are true, you guys. Um, this is a must-see movie, especially if you are a fan of Nick Cage. Kind of gets mixed up into like an FBI investigation cartel type of deal, like dangerous thing. So now he's like undercover Nick Cage. And Pedro Pascal, oh my god, I freaking love him. He does so good. Like you can definitely like see the love in his eyes for Nick Cage, the way that he just like looks at him and his awkwardness. And it's just so cute. I love it. And then when they get on um LSD and they're trying to jump over that that wall. <laughs> Oh my god, that was hilarious! This is a favorite, um, a favorite of the year. You definitely have to watch this movie if you have it. I'm not gonna give too too much more of it because I, I already gave too much. I already gave too much, but it's it's so funny. All right, guys. So this, um, this, that's it, right? Yeah. These are all the movies that I saw in the month of March. No, month of April. Lord, I'm so lost. I did really want to see Father Stew, Ambulance. Well, actually, Ambulance. I think that was a March movie. I think so. But Father Stu, either way, Ambulance. We just never got to 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 watch. Um I did have like a board game uh, week, like a challenge playing 50 games in a week. So I did re uh, record that. So that's one of the game board content videos that are be coming your way later on cuz it's a lot to <laughs> a lot of uh it's a lot that I have to edit you guys with that. So that's going to be like later later on. Uh but during that week, obviously, we didn't go to the movies because we were focusing on, like, just playing games. Uh, but, yeah, let me know down below. Did we watch any of the same things? Do you agree? Do you disagree? If you disagree, that's totally fine. You know, that's your list. This is my list. Let's not be ugly um, down below. Of course, if you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next Bye.